I'm Bill with Molly. Many of you know we've implemented something new on Facebook a couple weeks ago called Technical Tuesday. And the very first one we did was me on there explaining to people how to measure piston rings so you could figure out what rings to order for your piston when you replace them. And one of the things I mentioned on that Technical Tuesday was how difficult it was to hold the three-piece oil ring while you measured it. Well, one of our followers, Bob from Diamond Bar Choppers in Diamond Bar, California, Bob wrote in and he said, hey, he said, I've been using clothespins for years and they work really good. So I got a couple clothespins from home and got some rings and sure enough, those clothespins work great. You can see here, I can hold that whole assembly just on my thumb with no problems. So Bob had a great idea and what I thought I would do was walk you through the rest of that story one more time in case you'd forgotten. So what we're trying to figure out here is the face width of this ring. So I have some calipers. Matter of fact, these are really old calipers, but they work. And I'm left-handed, so you're going to notice that when I measure stuff, you can't read the calipers because I'm holding them in the opposite hand that you probably would. But using my clothespins, I slide that ring on here and actually let me get a, a this way, I'm going to measure the width of the ring, face width. So I'm going to measure this way from the top of the ring. Okay, I make that measurement and it comes out to 0.077 inches because my old calipers measure in inches. So I have a smartphone and what I did was I went to my smartphone and downloaded a free app that converts stuff from inches to millimeters. And I put 0.077 inches in here, and sure enough, it converted it to 1.9558 millimeters. Well, 1.9558 is really close to 2 millimeters. So I'm going to make an assumption right now that this ring is 2 millimeters in face width. Now, taking that information, I get my Molly catalog. I got my Molly catalog here, and you'd like a copy, I'm sure. And you can get your very own, download it off the internet, molly-aftermarket.com publications, and you'll have a copy of the catalog that I have. And then one really cool thing about this catalog is all the pages here in the center section of the catalog show all the rings we have by bore size. Now I know that this piston, because it's actually marked on the top here, I know this piston is a 4 inch 030 bore. So I go to that section in the catalog, 4-inch 030 rings, and I've actually highlighted the ring down here so you can see it. I go down to the oil rings, and there is a 2-millimeter oil ring listed. So I'm thinking my assumption about this being 2 millimeters is pretty good. Now there is one more thing to check. If you look in that listing for the 2-millimeter ring, it will have a radial wall thickness. If you recall, it's from the face of the ring to the back side of the ring. The catalog says it should be 113 thousandths. So I'm going to take my caliper one more time. I'm going to take my rings and notice how they're still nice and held together here. And now I'm going to take my caliper and measure from the face of the ring to the back side of the ring, as you see right here. Again, that's radial wall. Now what I got when I measured this just a minute ago, I got 111 thousandths. Well, 111 is really close to 113. Again, remember my calipers, they were teasing me about them coming over on the Mayflower, but they're pretty old. And I got clothespins holding this assembly together. So 111 is so close to 113, I can make another pretty confident assumption that this 113 radial wall would be perfect for me. So knowing all that, I know immediately what ring part number I need to order if I need to replace the rings on my piston. So it's that simple. So thanks again to Bob from Diamond Bar Choppers. We'd encourage the rest of you to tune in every Tuesday for Technical Tuesday and send your ideas in too. You can be our next star on Technical Tuesday.